Hey, this is my Genoni. Here's my comic bullet for June 20th, 2018. First up is Batman number 49, is it? Now, first of all, I thought this cover was really, really well done. Fantastic. Now, last issue we had Batman fighting Joker. And Batman getting paralyzed, poisoned. So Catwoman comes in to save the day. And I have to admit, Catwoman was kind of vicious, even though she gets shot. I mean, it was, you know, she slashes up Joker's throat pretty good. Beyond that, it's basically the dialogue between Joker and Catwoman. They talk about the past. You know, Joker congratulates her on her marriage, her wedding type thing. And I was really liking the banter going back and forth between them. But, you know, this is a spoiler. But to me, what kind of ruined it was at the very end because... You know, Joker almost recovers enough to kill Catwoman, but he falls. And Batwoman, I mean, sorry, Batman get, wakes up enough, so he starts talking to Catwoman. And then he starts, and then Catwoman starts, she tells Joker a joke. And he, Joker thought it was funny. And then Catwoman starts laughing like she's possessed by the Joker. Now, to me, that's just your, you know, it's like your typical go-to plot, you know, plot point. You know, you deal with the Joker, you got to laugh like the Joker. I mean, and this would have been one case where I was thinking, you know what, this would have been good if, you know, you know, Batman got taken down and Batman was always like, you know, you can't, don't, don't endanger, you put yourself in danger, blah, blah, blah. And here comes Catwoman, comes and saves the day, and she doesn't do that. You know, it's kind of like... See, like, even with this, it sets this, the tone that, yeah, you know what, we're in for the same nonsense that we've gotten for the past, you know, 20-some, 30 years, you know what I mean? Uh, well, you know, even just more than 30 years, but you know what I mean. Um, and I think if they didn't end it that way, it would have been more of a fresh start. You know, you could have started with her kind of starting to laugh, and then her, she just stopped. And just you know, composed herself, did said something else. And, you know, it's it would have been that, you know, things are going to be okay. That way, when things don't go good, then we're like, oh my God, they're not good. What happened? Now we already know it. wedding's doomed. And here's the Justice League, number two. I think um, they took a picture of the thing, and they that's they used to model Martian Manhunter. Um, this is painful. This is just so painful. Luther, 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 Luther detonates some bomb thing, and then the Justice League have to use Justice League Dark to mask it from people, so people can't see it. And then I'm skipping around, and uh, fight some creature. Bad things go when you go in. Bad things happen, and so Batman and Superman eventually go in. To the, oh, I'm sorry, Batman. I mean, sorry, Superman and Martian Manhunter go in to the thing. Then you have Sinestro, who started off, I believe, yellow, now is ultraviolet, and he recruits John Stewart for the ultraviolet core. And then at this point in time, I'm just going, you know, it's, it's like, I remember a time when there was just red, I'm sorry, green, and then yellow. And that was it. And I don't mind the colors that were added. But it's like, these people, it's like, you know, it, it, every time it's like they're introducing new colors and it just lessens this how special the original colors were and then on top of that it's like you know like every member of the green lantern like earth green lantern force have changed colors it's like come on you know it's like do, do you have no ideas that you have to keep going to the same same plot point over and over and over again it's like you know, it, it, you know, it's like telling you know the Little Red Riding Hood story, but maybe you change one little thing along the way, but the end is always the same. You know, 
it's the wolf in the bed and you know red riding hood gets eaten type thing and it's like why do i want to keep reading this you know it's like snyder i mean he's a good writer and it's like why do you have to you know go to this level of media being mediocre unimaginative you know it's just like you know you have no ideas maybe you need a vacation you know because this is bullshit you know we pay money for this stuff and you keep throwing the same plot points at us over and over again it's like god what you think you're special because you never did a green lantern color and a change of, of an earth earth green lantern it's like come on it's ridiculous and then there's man of steel I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it starts off with a good fight. And then Superman's like, well, you know, he wants me to punch him. He wants me to lose control. So we're not going to do that right now. Type thing. And even this punch here at the beginning was just like, this is like a high schooler illustration. It's like, it, it, it shows no true impact. It shows no... Oomph. You know what I mean? It's like there's no... The back isn't to it. Yeah, the back... The yeah, spine's twisted, but it's not like a powerful punch. You know, it's just, in a sense, powerful because you, you're making the guy bend over backwards, but, you know, Superman doesn't have... A, his feet aren't grounded, you know, as an example. Like, how much more stronger... I mean, you know, it's like it's not... It's not it doesn't look powerful. It looks, you know, like half-assed. You know, half-assed illustration. And... You know, there's good parts to it, and there's parts of me that are going, you know, you're in Metropolis, you know, not that you lose control, but let's see some craziness happen. I mean, there's a little bit of craziness, but not enough. And it's like, oh, it's like, you know, it's like you're looking at that tiger that's just ready to pounce on the um, circus trainer. And it's chained and it's just ready to go and it just it's about ready to break the chain and it just sits down at the end and that's what i feel about this book it's like it builds this thing up and then it just and then at the end it goes boom there's a big explosion you know it's like you, you kill the momentum and then you blow something up at the end and it's like and then you you know there's just i don't know i I'm just really disappointed. Really, really disappointed. It, it's, you know, it's just sad. Especially when, now, and I know you, most of you guys can't understand this, but uh, My Hero Academia, episode, uh, third season, uh, episode 11, just aired last week. And it was the most amazing battle between All Might and the main villain for the uh, League of Supervillains. And so if you can imagine, All Might is, you know, kind of like the Superman. He has a power all for one where it's like, it, he's like all powerful. All the power goes to one person, you know, all for one. And the villain is one for all. So basically, he absorbs powers. And this guy has a lot of power. You know, he can basically fight toe-to-toe. -to -toe. So just imagine Doomsday versus Superman as an example. And All Might, I mean, there's the way they weave the story. I mean, there's a little bit of fighting. There's a dramaticness. There's, okay, here's some. Here's the history of All Might. Here's the history of how it connects to another villain. And what the how evil the villain really was type thing. And at the end, the ending punch was amazing. You know, it was like the punch caused a tornado in the middle of the city. And at the very end was like, it was really emotional. It was really good. And, you know, that's just 30 episodes. I mean, sorry, 30 minutes. That one little fight was 30 minutes. And I just, I see that. And I look at Man of Steel. I look at Justice League. I look at Batman. And, you know, every other Marvel book. And it's they just can't hold a candle to that fight. And that's wrong. We should be the we should be setting the example 
this Superman book should be setting the example and show how all show to all the other superhero books this is how you become a superhero this is how you act as a superhero and it just doesn't do that you know and it's not preaching it doesn't have to be preaching it doesn't always have to be there always is the right way there always is the better way there's always a way to save everyone it doesn't even need you don't need that preached every issue it's just that it falls short and it's just sad it's really sad I would highly recommend it watch My Hero Academia and in fact what you probably need to do is go back two episodes so you probably start with maybe nine 10, 11. Watch those three. You'll come, that way you'll understand what's going on. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. And it's on Crunchyroll. And you can watch it for free. Um, you just create your account thing and then you just watch commercials. And for the dubbers, because you can't read, um, there's, it'll eventually probably go to Funimation dubbed, so you're covered. Anyways. My pick of the week, My Hero Academia kicked ass overall everything else subpar which is a shame that's all we got for today uh, let me know what you guys picked up what you guys are looking forward to reading the most like share and more more later <laughs>